Hello, right, bye. Welcome back to Watch Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this episode, we're going to do some chores that this guy wants us to do so we can pay for that chandelier. And I think we have something to do. Hold here. Dang it. I'll shut your waiters from the bill for the chandelier. And if you think that we're even, you better think again. Next, I need to help harvest the little pumpkins and I'm not taking no for an answer. Fine. This should be an easy one for you. Kina spends her afternoons picking pumpkins in the pat. Oh, back. Carry those to the storage shed. Kina will give you the, can give you the details. Oh, I'm bad reading. Oh, but you can only work on the patch during the day. There's no telling what will happen under the night sky. Okay. The fork is that binge. Oh, I know where she is. He's at the patch, like he just said. Right? Right. All right. Let's go help her. Okay. Hey, girl, what you doing? Are you mad at me for the chandelier? Hi. Oh, and your next job has been decided. Looks like you'll be helping me help with the pumpkin harvest. What a relief. Do you have any idea how heavy those pumpkins are? Oh, yeah. You think this is going to be a piece of cake, don't you? Pumpkin cake? Seriously, you said that? Let's make this interesting. How about you carry five pumpkins at once? Really? You now, you now you're just... You better take it slow or you'll risk driving them. Just get out there and howl th those pumpkins. Okay, honestly, I don't think... Well, no, never mind. Legla is only going to do this because... He, she looks free to him and uh, he's he's willing to show off with five pumpkins. See that storage shed up ahead? Carry the pumpkins there. Alright, guys. Uh, it looks like we're... Link wants to show off, so we have to carry five pumpkins. See, if it was me, I like I would just tell her, Binch, no, I'm not gonna lose money for this. All right, I'm just gonna rush it. Okay, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush. Okay, wait, wait. All right, then come over here. Whatever. Okay, go over here. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. All right, let me go over here. Let me go like that. Let me go like that. Let me go like this. Let me go like that. Oh, 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 no, not today, Binch. Not today. Up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Alright, Finny Yolo, Finny Yolo. Uh, made it. Oh. I just knew you'd come through. You managed to carry them all. I did. I guess that means you're carrying pumpkins. Thank you very much. Okay, why'd you tell me that? You just made me mad a little bit. I'm just kidding. You're a nice person, but you're not. I'm not in your kind. Ooh, being racist. You have three um, stretch chests, by the way. I'm not, I don't really feel like getting them right now. So, we'll get them later. Trust me, we'll get them later. Still not sure if I wanna. If I wanna. You know what I mean? Alright, now let's talk to this guy. Someone did it. Rest of you're doing hard on the pumpkins? Yeah, I know, right? It was quick. I thought I would fall at least once. But don't celebrate yet. You still got a ways to go before you paid off that chandelier. Give me some time to think about what I need to you work on next. Come back and see me. Come back and see me sometime. Anyway. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off and come back in. Okay. You got anything for me now, little Billy? Little Phil? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I got things to do. Like... I don't know. Go find a little girl. I'll meet you guys at, um, at Skyloft. Three, two, one. Alright, so, now that we're on the, hmm, what you call this area? Southeast of Skyloft, we are going to go find the little girl that was lost for some reason. Now to find her, we come over here to the graveyard. I think we push this thing right here. Hit this tree. And then... Oh. Okay, I was wrong. You gotta do it at night, apparently. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go and smite this house real quick. Hey, girl, how you doing? Ow! Alright. Wow, it is dusty in here. Hey, girl. Alright, I'm just gonna take a nap in one of your beds. Is, beds, you rules. I'm gonna sleep right here. I don't wanna sleep until morning. Alright, meet you guys in the morning. Alright, that's a morning, I'm at night. 
Yeah, I have. If you see people on patrol, make sure you say hello. All right. Yeah, sure. Binge. I only came to use your bed. I didn't want to say hi to anybody. Jeez. Wow. The nerves on people, right? Whatever. Okay. This is the first time we actually see night. No way. We're gonna push this back. And then hit this tree. Or do we hit the tree and then the hold on. Hit the tree? And then the and then push this back? Was it that one that you push? Or was it this one? Or do you have to talk to the old man at the thing first? Oh jeez, I don't even know. Whatever. So wait, those are the skilled grounds, right? Oh, we gotta go in the morning then. Alright. Maybe I'll, I'll say that for next episode then. Alright. I'll just go ahead and see you guys at the sealed grounds. Okay. Wait, what's going on? What the front? What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Why are you calling? Oh, yeah. Ask me for help because I, I have superpowers. Ugh, rough landing. It was rough because your fat little binge faced mother forking face was like, hey, let's. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Devon, seriously? Didn't everyone ever teach you how to. Whoa. Yeah, tiny birds, what do you freaking do? Whoa! Bro! Birds? Tiny birds? What are they? They're birds. Tiny birds. What is that thing? That's your mom. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's Gorko, he's cool, right? But, how? What? What? Where am I? You are in Narnia. What's going on here ever since Zelda managed you've been sipping you? So I figured, to t yeah, you are talking so fast, I can't even read, dude. It is so wild, seriously, what is that thing over there? That's Gorko, just... What's with all these trees? There are so many! Just wait, give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? What's the deal with this place? There's supposed to be nothing below the clouds. What is all this? This is Narnia. Let me, now, let me tell you something, buddy. Me and Zoe were just flying around. Then this tornado came out of nowhere. And then I was like, whoa, what the fork? And then I turned this out. And there was a machine to do some tasks. And, and then uh, I was like, hey, I'll save you. And then, yeah. Dude. Whoa, it like, blew my mind, bro. Dude. I think what you're saying, though, bro. If I got this right, still is dangerous with her. And she's okay? Yeah. Dude. She knows her. She's okay? Oh, wow, that's so great. <laughs> And that's such a huge way of my mind. You are some kind of... You are some kind of person, buddy. You know, Divine. It's sort of all right down here. I think I'm getting used to things. This place needs a name. I just told you it's known it. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland. You're just wrong at the moment. So, let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. Huh. Alright. I see. Right, Divine. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can go home. Big Bruce will handle this search for Zelda from here. <laughs> yep, I'll trick her down safer and then give her a lift back to scale off. <laughs> it's not that easy, dude. <laughs> Then when I get back, I'll ask her if she wants... Did I not tell you about Giro Hill? <laughs> anyway, the point is, your work here is done. I gotta cover from here. Now I was off to find that old lady you were talking about. Wait, Gru... Ah, oh, you dumb mother forker. Catch you later, Divine. Binge. I'm gonna tell you about... Where'd you go? The frunk? Freaking... Hey, Gorko, I'll be right with you in a second. I'm gonna show these guys... I mean, I'm gonna show everybody how to... 
Uh, darn it, no. I'm gonna show these guys about a, a secret heart piece. Never mind, I won't, because there, uh, there's no fat. Yeah. What if I could. Wait, can I still do it? Just. Oh, yeah, by the way, Zelda gave us a, um, a harp last episode. Alright, anyway. See what this guy wants. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hey, bud. We meet again in a hurry, as usual, eh? Yep, I'm gonna keep me busy, too. Checking out the wonders of the world, you know? Say, you wanna hear something about my research? Sure. Okay, but prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was doing my field research. So, gal, get a load of this. Apparently, there are walls of, and statues responding to butterflies. Wow, right? Want no more? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. That is kind of a realizing the enthusiasm I like to see. Oh, but before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues, there is something I, have, I better ask you. You ever heard of the Blessed Butterfly? Yep. All right, but then let me jump to, straight to the point. Mm -hmm. All right. Ancient tome, tombs mention these butterflies flapping around the impacts by certain walls and statues. So like these butterflies have some kind of sixth sense. Sense, sorry. They are detecting uh, some, something. Want to hear more? Sure. Which are you interested in? More, I'm more, more of a wall person. From what I've learned, it sounds like these walls were lifted by, behind some left by the goddess for the hero mentioned in the legends. The things that the hero desires are set to spring from forth from behind the walls. That is why they call them goddess walls. I suppose. Are you here some more? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? That's the spirit, but Sally, that is as far as my research has gotten me. As soon as I make new discoveries, you'll be the first to know. Okay, cool. All right, that's cool. All right. All righty then. So next time on Watch Play Legend of the Scour Sword, we are going to enter the, the sealed grounds. Well. Yeah, we're going to enter the Sealed Grounds Temple and talk to old lady about Zelda. Alright, I'll see you guys then.